Connecticut has become the 19th state to legalize recreational marijuana. Certainly a very big deal, an historic moment here in our state. But one town does not want to see recreational pot stores there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal explains the measures that Prospect is taking. As of July 1st, it will be legal for adults 21 and older to possess up to 1.5 ounces of marijuana. It's likely going to take at least a year before a recreational pot industry is up and running in Connecticut. The town of Prospect is saying no to cannabis establishments in town. I've been a first responder in Prospect for 57 years, and I'm just afraid it's going to lead to DWI driving for younger folks or even adults who are smoking and think they can go driving. The Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing last week to discuss prohibiting cannabis establishments. I don't want to see it here. It's a it's a gateway to Pandora's box that I want to see open in this town. The commission ended up voting unanimously in favor of banning recreational cannabis establishments from opening in town. That includes dispensaries, producers, and retailers. It's a measure Prospect Mayor Robert Chatfield supports. I'm strictly watching out for the next generation, and I don't want people getting hurt. Yeah. Are killed. Members of the commission say this prohibition applies to recreational pot and not medicinal marijuana. All the concerns are valid, but I think those things uh, from a, a medical and scientific perspective really need to be separated from what we're discussing here with the recreational aspects. However, supporters of the state's new recreational marijuana bill say the legislation is equitable and overdue. But on addressing equity issues, on looking at the communities who had been most harmed uh, by the uh, aggressive enforcement of the marijuana laws over the last uh, 50 years or more, and the injustices that had occurred and the number of people who had their lives permanently blighted uh, by minor uh, marijuana charges. If Prospects Planning and Zoning Commission were to make any changes, another public hearing would take place. Reporting in Prospect, Aya Galel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.